Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Italian Makes It. Today I'm going to paint laser cut wooden shapes and yet you probably guessed it considering how my videos are going at the moment, it's going to be like Halloween themed. And so I've got these lovely pumpkins that I bought from the Wooden Shape Company, you can find them on eBay and or you can go onto the website, I'm going to put the link on the description so you can have a look. Um, it, I'm not sponsored by them, I just love their site and there's so many um, different things that you can get and loads of ideas that um, you, for your creations. So I'm going to keep with the Halloween theme and we're going to be painting these. I'm going to be using acrylic paint and I've got my trusted box. Ta -da! I stood on it so I broke it. But for a long, long time, I've used this box, and as you can see, I used to use it to put to put the paint in. Um, but today, I've upgraded, and I decided to invest on um, some tear off palette. So that's they're they're really good. They're really good. I've used them before, as you can see. It's going down pretty quickly. So let's just get one of these. Let's get and let's get sorted and let's start painting. What I'm planning to do with these um, after I've done it is just a couple of projects. One of them is going to be decorating a Halloween tree, and um, another one is going to be for a cake stand. But you'll have to wait. You'll have to check out my next videos. So if you like what you see, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications on when the next videos are coming up so you can see what I've done with the pumpkins. Let's start with the colours. Okay, so as the pumpkin has got like its lovely little um, cartoony face, I'm going to paint it as if it's a cartoon. So we've got a palette, we've got a pumpkins, I have got some emulsion paint, just wool paint, this is going to be the base for the pumpkin, so first of all I'm going to paint them white with the emulsion which is going to dry pretty quickly, um, just to give it a nice base so the colour is then all, it, it goes on smoothly and um, without patches or anything like that. And then I'm going to make up a few colours and I've got um, orange, yellow and burnt sienna and I've got the My Mary, this is an Italian one um, and it's a lovely white and it's Avery white and it's, I just love it, it's really good but you don't, you don't have to have it, you can use anything you want, you can use white it's, it doesn't matter. The colours, you can choose what you want to do. But let's stop fuffing about and, um, and let's crack on with the painting. Got my lovely brushes. I probably won't need all of them, but I like to have a selection of what I can use and, and whatnot. I've got my water. And <laughs> my usual towel a little bit worse for wear but that'll do the job and let's get started so I'll give this a little shake so then the paint mixes up nicely and hopefully it's not going to go everywhere oh I haven't used it for a long time Ooh. oh there we go Whew. panicked for a minute then huh. let's do this Let's give this lovely pumpkin. I'm not too worried if I lose the the lines because I'm gonna I'm just gonna make it up as I go along. So let's give it a nice coat of white. I've got quite a few to do as well, so I'm gonna have a nice little selection. They do come in a pack of ten, and obviously I went for the big pack. I went for the pack of 10. So 
I can do different projects with them. I've got a few ideas of what I can do and I'll, um, I can show you later. In the meantime, let's give this a nice coating. Don't really need to dilute it with water because it's usually emulsion is quite um, it's quite fluid so and we're going to be painting them just on one side ah, so that I'm not going to do both of them hmm it smells like emotion. My freshly painted walls. One down, a few more to go. Now, we need three colors as I said because these are um, very cartoony I'm gonna try to keep it keep it that way so I'm gonna have a base color that's a little bit bright and then I'm gonna have a I'm gonna make up a lighter color and a darker one so we're gonna use special effects with the with the paint <laughs> so right that is very bright very very bright so I might turn it down a little bit and the way I turn it down is just by adding a little bit of burnt sienna which is going to give it a more of a natural look so let's turn it down a little bit Not massively, it still needs to be, you know, quite bright. Okay. I think this we could be into a winner. Let's have a look. Let's try and see. Oh, I like it. Let's paint the pumpkin. I do like this colour. It just goes on really, really nicely. No really need to add any more water because it's it's quite smooth. Oh, yep, this is satisfying. You can always add a little bit of water if you want to, more fluid or more transparent look. Want to keep it nice and thick. trying too much now.
The beauty and at the same time the scary thing about acrylics is that they dry really, really quickly. So if you want to do some shading, which we're not going to do at the moment because, as I said, it's a cartoon pumpkin, but if we were doing some shading, you need to be a little bit quick um, because it dries really, really quickly. That's why I always have my little towel next to me so then I can just quickly rinse off the brush and then carry on with the shading. But in this instance, we don't need it and we can just take our time and just make sure that all of the sections that we want to cover are covered. So, and there you have it. Oh, I missed a bit. There we go. So we got our base colour. So now we need to decide about the lighter and the darker shades. So I never used black um, to make a colour darker because as I said you lose the natural the natural colours and uh, even though it's a cartoon I don't want to overdo it. So I'm gonna keep adding um, the burnt sienna to this base colour until I get the darkness that I, I want. So I just want like a little bit darker. Don't want to go too dark. Don't want to do it too much. Um, just a little bit. And I think that it's going to be it. So we just need to wait for that to dry and then we can start with the dark bits. If you wanted to, like for the dark areas, just think about where the light is going and um, you can draw the lines where you want to paint and then you can paint inside it. Just follow, luckily this pumpkin has also got the, the lines um, that should guide you and should give you an idea of what you can actually like do with the paint so just maybe follow the lines or do your own things and see whether you like it and if you like at the at the end what you see then you're not a winner making a mess now which is not surprising
Okay, here we go. We've got a stash of pumpkins now. All nice and painted, decorated. So what we're going to do, the next step is going to be, as I'm going to put, when I'm going to decorate the tree, I'm going to put some lights behind uh, the pump, pumpkins. And I will just want some lights to shine through the eyes. But if I leave it like this, I think it gets too busy because you can see behind it. So what I'm going to do, I've cut these little pieces of tissue paper, yellow tissue paper. So we, we keep it with the warm colours um, of autumn. So I'm going to glue them at the back of the pumpkins. So I've got some glue here, PVA glue, mixed up with some water. And I've got a little brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spread some glue all around the eyes, because as you can see, the tissue paper just about covers um, the holes and it doesn't show on the other side. So that's what we need to try and make sure we do. Let's get this all done. So this should be now enough to hold the tissue paper in place. So let's do it. Boom. Here we go. Ta-da! So one down, a few more to go. <coughs> and here we go. Now all my pumpkins are ready. All made the Italian way, which means messy usually. I'm actually pretty clean this time, so it's good. It's good. So I've got two plans for this at the moment. So on this video, I'm going to show you two, two different ideas that I've got. See? Two for the video, for one video. How lucky. I've got these little tea light holders. I know they've got little hearts, but I'm going to, I'm planning to put the, the pumpkins on one side and create like a little table decoration. So hopefully you like it. Just follow to the end, the video to the end, so you can see, you can see the results. And this is the tree I was talking about. This is the tree that I will be decorating later. I will be attaching the pumpkins and a few other little bits and bobs. And I've already attached the lights on the tree. Just doesn't want to stay on and it didn't come with these I just attached them just to create a little bit more of an autumn decoration together with the Halloween theme so now well, what he's left to do is just get some strings attached to these and then hang them on the tree together with some other decorations that I've got so make sure you watch to the end if you like what you see subscribe and hit the, the, the bell so you can keep up to date of when a new video comes out. And I'll see you later.